And it is the day before Thanksgiving when millions of us leave home for the holiday expecting the worst. People are on the move right now in Dallas, Atlanta and the Northeast. Some of them in New York are already stuck in traffic that's only going to get worse. AAA predicts more than 54 million Americans will travel this week. 4.3 million of us are expected to fly for Thanksgiving, so get ready. Be patient. That's an increase of more than 5% from last year. Chris Van Cleve is at Chicago's O'Hare International to see how one of America's busiest airports is handling its toughest week of the year. Hey, Chris, yesterday at this time we saw you heading to the airport. I'm glad you made it. Good to see you. We made it. Good morning. O'Hare is one of the nation's busiest airports. They're expecting more than 2 million flyers to pass through here during the Thanksgiving holiday week. And that means a whole lot of flights like this one about to head to San Francisco. The people are on board. I can see them in the windows. When you're down here on the tarmac, everything is about beating the clock, getting everybody on board, getting those bags loaded and getting these planes off the gate before that countdown clock hits zero. I'm really excited to have food for Thanksgiving because I kind of like treats. Patrick and the rest of the McCain clan are flying from Chicago to Denver for Thanksgiving at Grandpa's. We wanted to avoid the craziness of tomorrow. Traveling with children is a challenge. Anything we can do to minimize the disruptions is what we want to do. But to get them and the rest of the 2.2 million who will fly United over the next few days to their destinations on time, takes a small army. I'm, I'm the runner. I always run from gate to gate, uh, answering calls on the radio, people calling me. Milo McCall is a flight fixer of sorts. The customer service supervisor races through O'Hare, taking care of everything from computer issues to getting the right people on board. I remember one time a few years ago, it was actually for thing, uh, around Thanksgiving, uh, I walked 12 miles during my shift. Sunday, United will operate a record 679 flights out of Chicago, enough to fly 71,000 people home. Hey, Echo 5 lead, Echo 5 lead. The flights will be monitored here in their airport operations center. Is the Thanksgiving holiday kind of your Super Bowl? It is. It's one of the busiest times of the year, and it's really an opportunity for us to connect people and unite the world. Getting the 50,000 or so bags a day transferred and loaded will be a family affair this Thanksgiving. You're helping other people get to where they want to go. Karen Pereira and her sons Chris and Jeff will be working the ramp together. I remember saying when I was a kid to my mother, you're not the boss of me. And I feel like this actually worked out that literally she gets to be the boss at home, at work. I'm still the boss even though when they are the boss. <laughs> And we're all about behind the scenes access here at O'Hare. I want to show you some cool time lapse video. This is over in the American Airlines terminal where crews there have been literally decking the halls overnight to get these handmade Christmas decorations, holiday decorations up and in place ahead of the holiday rush back out here on the tarmac. It is about time for this flight to head to San Francisco. Sunday is going to be the busiest day, could be the busiest travel day of the year. The TSA is preparing for as many as 3 million or more people to pass through checkpoints. That would be a record. And this is an on-time departure. John? <laughs> Chris Van Cleve with perhaps the best time tag of a piece as the plane goes out from behind him. That's amazing, Chris. Master of the tarmac. Thank nice you. Nice shot. Very nice shot.